Today we're going to build a water cycle experiment. First off, we start with the jar, big jar like this. You're going to have some rocks, some sand, and some topsoil with a cup to fill it with, a plant to put in the jar, and some water. Now we're going to start with our water cycle experiment. First, we're going to put a layer of rocks in our jar. Second, after you level out your rocks, it's a layer of sand. And third, we're going to get a layer of topsoil. These represent the layers of the earth. After that, you're going to take your cup of water, your half cup of water, you're going to push it all the way down into the dirt. Make sure you've secured the water tightly in, in the ground so it doesn't fall over. After that, you're going to take your plant, put it next to the water, down in, deep into the topsoil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put, make a hole for this plant so nothing will happen to it and it'll fit nice and neat. Okay, now it's time to put the lid back on the jar. And we're going to put it out in the sun. I'm going to wait probably about 30 minutes. What you're going to see is condensation on, forming on the sides of the jar. That represents the water going into the clouds. When the water droplets fall back down to the topsoil on the sides of the jar, that's representing rain. And when it builds back up, it'll just keep going and going and going, and that's your water cycle.